Now, this is the whole periodic table. We have to place the elements in their correct places. We will shuffle the elements and try to, to place them in their correct positions. Let me begin with the alkali elements. They are easy to sort. Those are the red elements and they appear in the beginning, in the left side of the periodic table. Those are the alkali and al alkaline earth elements. Now the, here is the potassium element 19. The cesium element 55. Fran francium the first alkali element in the seventh row of the periodic table and it is radioactive. Like I mentioned, like I noticed before, uh, the last row are only radioactive elements. And what else is here uh, from the element uh, 104, which is a synthetic one, they are placed in their positions, so there is no need to sort them. And they are Rutherfordium, Dubnium, Seaborgium, Borium, Hasium, Meitnerium, I, <laughs> I don't, yes, I uh, tell about my pronouncement, Darmstadium, Roent genium, Copernicium, which is also a transition metal, like this one, Tuchasium, Ununtrium, Flerovium, Ununpentium, Livermorium, Ununseptium, and Ununoctium. <laughs> this is element with atomic number. 118, which is a synthetic one, and it is also radioactive, and because this game is created around 2015, if there are more synthetic elements, they are not included here, but it's pretty possible that there are. Okay, and what else? The lanthanide and actinide elements are also excluded from the game because they will move the table too much to the right. right? So if, if I place them, if they are placed in the periodic table, the element 71 will be before, where is 72? This is 73, here, to half new. They will begin from the half new. Okay, I'm back to the Actinides, Ac uh, lantern, oh no, excuse me, alkali, <laughs> the red ones, the alkali elements. Here is the rubidium with atomic number of 37. Here is one hidden, that is sodium, very important chemical element, which atomic number is 11. And here is the other one. This game doesn't have tri-counter, tri so I can freely move elements and free position to see them. Okay, and this is lithium, element number 3, which is alkali element. Next to the alkali are the alkaline earth elements. And one of them is the radium which is 88 atomic number and it is radioactive. For now I will let them and begin to sort the noble gases. They are easy and they are in blue. Here the noble gases appear to the right side of the periodic table and 
default element is the xenon. The krypton is the 36th. The radon is a noble gas with atomic number of 86. They are going now in the radio radioactive part of the periodic table of elements. And here is another noble gas. This is argon, number uh, yes, 18. Uh, where are the others? They are hidden. Here's one, the neon, element number 10, the noble gas. And I'm looking for the helium. Where is where is it? Okay, the helium looks like it is hidden under this uh, parts. So I will now begin to sort the non-metal elements. One of them is the phosphorus, 15. The selenium is a non-metal. The sulfur with the number 16 is a non-metal element. The carbon with number 6 is another non-metal element and I have sorted the blue ones, the, the green ones. Now, I, the other non-metal elements are in this uh, teal color. This is Yodin 53, a non-metal element. The Bromine 35, here before the Krypton. It is a non-metal, non-metal element. The hydrogen, the most important non-metal, non-metal element. The fluorine, with a number of nine. Another non-metal element. Chlorine, with a number of seventeen. And here is the helium, that I was looking earlier. The last of the noble gases, and the noble gases are done. Also, the alkali elements are done. Here, I look something hidden. It is another non-metal element, the oxygen, which is also very important chemical element for humans, and nitrogen. That is the fuel of the organic matter, nitrogen. So these are the non-metal elements and now I'm going to the metalloid and the poor metals. Indium is a poor metal with an atomic number of 49. There it is. Antimony is a metal with metal with a number of 51. Astatin. Here we go again in the radioactive elements where Astatin has uh, he, he is an element, so he has also been classified as poor metal. The arsenic is a typical metal with. Here is the silicon num with atomic number 14, a typical metal width. Uh, oh, these are alkaline earth. I will go to them. Let me sort a few more poor metals. This is thin, a poor metal with atomic number of 50. The polonium is a poor metal with atomic number of 84 and I believe it is going in the group of the radioactive elements, but I'm not quite sure. Now gallium is a poor metal with atomic number of 31. Here I have a hidden thallium element. It is the 81st element, the thallium. The lead element number 82, 
another poor metal. I am sorting the poor metals now. Bismuth. Bismuth is a poor metal with a number, atomic number of 83. Phew, this is hard. <laughs> I have uh, put my knowledge hat also. Mm. I found the aluminium. Here it is, the element 13. And I'm looking for element 5. Where is it? There it is, the born. Born. It's strange, this element. It is a metalloid element, a typical metalloid. And I have to sort two more metalloid elements, that is the tellurium with an atomic number of 52 and the germanium with an atomic number of 32. They are metalloid elements. Also, like I mentioned, uh, the ones in the row of the copernicium are also considered metalloids in the latest pictures that I have checked. Now I have to sort the alkaline earth elements. They are in this almost orange color. And this is strontium with an atomic number of 38. And it is near the rubidium. Another alkaline earth element is the magnesium. Magnesium here near the sodium. The barium is with 56 atomic number. Calcium with 20. The, these are important. Potassium and calcium are pretty important elements. And here is a hidden beryllium with an atomic number of 4. And I think I have sorted the alkaline earth element 2 here in the second column of the periodic table. And the one that remain are the transition metals. Transition metals also hold one of the most precious metals. Or I don't know if it is appropriate to use the noble metals. Okay, I can just to see them. So, uh, I will take one. One, 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 this one. <laughs> the scandium, number of 22. There it is. Near the calcium is scandium. Number 29 is the copper. Number 43 is the technetium. Where is it? There it is. Technetium. 74, that is the tungsten in the last row, and I will try to find all 70s now. <coughs> Here's one, iridium, it is 77, atomic number, another 7, looking, there it is, platinum, it is a noble metal, or precious metal, with atomic number of 78. Arrhenium, near the tungsten. Uh, ah, osmium, 76. Atomic number 76. This is osmium. Uh, ah, there it is, the mercury, with atomic number of 80. And between these two, guess which element is there. It is the gold. And I know that. So I have learned something. Did I not? Where are you, gold? Hey, there it is. Ow. The gold. Why it is not GL? Is there GL? G, you know, G, A, G, E. I'm looking for GL. 
There is no jail. Why the gold is not jail? Okay, while I'm here, I just found some silver here in the periodic table. This is with a number, atomic number of 47. There is the 47. And I have uh, placed the 70s. Now let me place the 40s. Cadmium, the number of 48. Niobium, 41. 41. And which is 42? That is the molybden. My favorite number, 42. It is the number of knowledge, if some don't know. Not anything else. Then I have to sort the ruthenium. Ruthenium. <laughs> it's number 44. Here is the 40. That is zirconium. And uh, palladium, another noble metal. It is number 46. And where is 45? This is rhodium. I almost got the, the fifth row of the periodic table of elements. I'm looking for element number 39. There it is. Yttrium or Yttrium. I don't know how it's pronounced. But I got uh, the fifth row. It's almost completed. Uh, this is easy. Element number 22 is the titanium. Titanium. 23 is the vanadium. 24, chromium. 25, manganese. 26 is the iron. 27, cobalt. 29, nickel. And element 30 is the zinc. And I believe these elements are learned in a row. Manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc. And I sorted the whole periodic table with this exercise, interactive exercise.